Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hope you are all doing well by the grace of Almighty. Today I wanted to speak on one topic and that is when there is no way God is the only hope. So before telling about one of the stories I want to ask you a question. Is there anyone who is trying to suppress you at home or at workplace due to jealousy because you are coming up in life when they are trying to suppress you and you do not have any hopes you don't know what to do then god is only the way kneel down and pray and he will guide you that is only the hope because you will be facing many challenges in your life when you are trying to come up in your life you will be facing so many cyclone type of challenges everywhere there will be evil who will be trying to suppress you so now i want to tell you about one of the story that is about joseph if you see in genesis chapter 37 chapter 38 and 39 we can see about the story of joseph so jacob had 12 sons joseph was the youngest son of jacob so jacob used to love joseph a lot and due to that he bought a colorful garment and all the brethren were very jealous of joseph because his father didn't love them so one day <coughs> joseph had a dream his dream was he came he told he told his brothers and his father saying that they were in the field and if you see in genesis chapter 37 verse 7 for behold we were binding sheaves in the field and lo my sheaf arose and your sheaves stood around about and made obeisance to my sheaves that means their brothers sheaves were bowing down to joseph's sheaves so the same way joseph had a second dream also that sun moon and the stars they were all bowing down to joseph so jacob scolded joseph saying that your brothers are going to bow down their heads to you so this is one of the situation joseph has gone through so in this between there started a big jealousy among the brothers the jealousy of hatred the jealousy of killing one another it's a big sin if you think about that in your heart are we doing the same way in our family are we doing among our friends are we doing the same way at a job or at workplace it's very difficult people are unable to digest when you are coming up in your life if you are facing this type of situation in your life bow down and pray to the lord and he will guide you so now joseph along with the brethren they went to the field to flock the sheep there one of his brethren they all planned to slay joseph but they thought no he is also one of the blood one of the flesh so they didn't slay him they threw him into the pit but the pit didn't have any water in it and they were having the food over there by the time the ismaelites who were the merchants they were coming on the way so the brothers had sold 
them to the Ishmaelites. And Ishmaelites have taken Joseph and they sold it to Potiphar in Egypt. Now, in between what has happened is that their brothers have removed the colorful garment of Joseph and they have slaved the sheep and they have covered it with the blood, the garment and they have taken it to Jacob, their father and they told that one of the evil beasts has come and eaten Joseph and Jacob had mourned day and night and he cried a lot and he was praying to God. He wanted him to see Joseph to come up in his life. But why all this unexpected situation had happened? Then, now, <coughs> Joseph was at Fortifer's house. He was taking care of all his household. Joseph was very much prayerful for each and everything. He used to commit himself to the Lord and guide and God was guiding him all the way and God was favoring him all the way. In whichever and whatever work he was doing, he was being blessed in each and everything. So, one day, Futhva's wife had a wrong impression that she wanted to do a bad thing with Joseph and Joseph didn't agree. For that he had to get punished and he was thrown into the prison. So one day the king had a dream, a different different dreams. So there he came to know that Joseph reveals about the different types of dreams. So that way when Joseph has told that the famine is going to come for seven years, for that we have to get prepared and the same way it has happened. So, unexpectedly, the famine has come and his brothers had come to Egypt. Joseph had recognized his brothers, but his brothers could not recognize Joseph because he was very small at that time. Now, whatever hate they had on Joseph, but Joseph didn't have any hate on their brothers. In fact, he went aside into a room and he cried and he came and he told about him and he met his family members and his father and it was very much good for them all. But if you see the dream what he had, the dream has been fulfilled. What Joseph has revealed, that his brethren are going to bow in front of him and the sun moon stars are going to bow in front of him. So, we should not be afraid for whatever situation we are going through. Whatever our friends are trying to mock us or provoke us or they are trying to hinder us in our work or in our family matters, we should not care and we should commit ourselves to the Lord and we should go ahead. God will show us the way. So do not lose your hope if you do not have a job, if you are having a financial situation or if, if you are not feeling well, God is there for you. you. You have lost hope that you are not getting a job. You have lost hope that your finance won't grow up. You have lost hope that you won't get support from your family members 
or your friends. God is the only hope. So rely on Him and He is going to guide you all the way and you will come out in flying colors. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you Lord for revealing your glory about Joseph, how he has come up in his life when there is no way you are the only hope to us and we should not rely on any people. If we should rely on you, we should commit ourselves to you and we should go ahead. In Jesus' precious name we ask. Amen. God bless you all.